Golly! What has it been? It's been like, and when did I sell my wheels? Uh, like two, three weeks ago? I don't know. Since essentially the car has been like that. So, y'all yeah, probably know better than me. The shop has been very busy. And, and then I go home and then I'm a dad. Life's been lifing. I'm here, all right? We're still building stuff. What I'm actually about to go do is I got the next set of wheels for the car a month and a half ago. I angrily purchased my spare setup. This has been a setup I've been talking about for 10 months or so. And then they messed around with me and saying it's gonna be here this day and then it's gonna be here this day. Well, they're finally here. They got here, okay? And I can't wait any longer. I can't see the car sitting like this, okay? So my other wheels, right? Those I already test fitted. We ordered the barrels, waiting for three more to come in and uh, we're gonna rebuild those, those tires on. But in the meantime, we gotta be back outside because the car sitting like this, that's sad, okay? So we're gonna go to the house, pick those up, take them over to Koik, we're gonna get those mounted and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna put them on. And then I'm gonna actually have content and I'm gonna be motivated to show ya what's going on. Let's get the car back up off the ground and uh, let's show ya the new spares for the car. Another reason why I'm running to the house is because that Peach IS 250 yeah that's a 250 the peach is 250 is still at the shop we're doing full refresh every single arm's getting replaced on that car um the front we put in the spindles from michael came out great um the lowers from the gentleman in california came out great everything worked out the way it needed to i have to do extended tie rods in the front um so i'm gonna make those tomorrow and uh I took the arms out of the rear today for the caster arms because it said out for delivery. So I was like, oh, all right, cool. You know, like, let me take these out. So I took them out, told me it got delivered. I said, this isn't delivered because it ain't at the shop. Um, checked and it's at my house. So now I got to go to my house and get those. I thought to myself, well, if I gotta go to my house to get the arms, I might as well go get the wheels and get the tires mounted finally since they came today also. It works. It works great. Everybody wins. I win, you win. Everybody wins. It's gonna be a great day. It's 70 degrees outside. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts, okay? I only have the window closed right now because I think this thing has AC. I don't think it has AC. Bro! What are you doing? I hate, I hate New Jersey drivers. Do not move to New Jersey. Okay, if you cannot stand idiots, don't move to New Jersey. Wow, that van flipped over. Oh, I'm running a red light. Oh, wow. Mint. There's a bridge right here. This is the only exciting part of the drive. Ready? That's it. Back into the real daily. Ah, ah I kind of wonder if it's gonna start. Um, haven't started this and uh, it's been like a week. Let's see. Yeah, we went to the circus. Uh, that's not looking promising. I never doubted you. No smoke. No smoke. I never even doubted you. I never doubted you for a second, baby. Never for a second. Let me load these wheels into the bed, get these arms in the truck, and uh, go over to Koi, get these tires mounted. Comment below what wheels y'all think these are. Um, they're not very big. Boxes aren't too, too big. 
I don't know, it kinda is. Let me know what y'all think these are in the comments below. That's what y'all see coming at ya. This is my, this is Marsh Works, you heard? We're going to Marsh Works. You heard? Look. What the? Melvin? <laughs> it didn't wait it went oh it went wow oh Ew. don't listen to this guy get drift car get race car bro you don't even have a voice bro have fucking fun go fast actually i want a drift car i'm gonna be on your door how about that I, I'm gonna be on your door, Smiley. All right, so the wheels that we decided to go with uh, Aero 50s. These are uh, 15 by 10, um, three inch back spacing. So that means it's got a uh, seven inch lift. And uh, we did a 205-55. Tire looks a little meaty. That may be a little too fat, but I have tires at home in case these are too fat. Uh, and I'll switch to it. Yeah, this is, no. I'm, <laughs> so I had ordered 205.50s for these, and I put a 205 up next to a 215.40, and it, it was like a half inch smaller. So like, I was like, all right, I gotta keep the same tire height, so I took a 205.55 and I put it up to a 215. It was the same height, but now that I'm looking at this, this looks like, this looks very fat. I'm about to fuck around and find out. Honestly, um, and then if I did fuck around and find out, I got the amazing guys at Koi Works to back me up with another mount and balance. Yo, this thing, yo, honestly, regardless of how fat these tires look, these look sick. Americas! I'm on the mall, I'm on the mall, Mo. I'm on the mall, Americas! See, this is how your steely's supposed to look. See, nice small lip, you know? But then you meet somebody like Marsh, and you get this. Come on, little wheel. Come on. And just like that, the Americas are in America. Dude, I need a tire rotation on the truck, dude. Dude, look, and then the other, the inside of that one's bald. Oh, I need a tire rotation. Dude, your, your toe ring has camera, dude. Oh, dude, bro, dude, bro. I need a, I need a tire rotation. Oh, uh, dude, bro. I need a paint job. Hey, 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 hey. You watch it with the paint job, all right? The paint job's coming. Look, I painted it, look, look. I got a new flare and I painted it. Look, it's gloss black, gloss black. Flare old cap. Okay, relax, all right, bro. These fell off on route one, okay? Let's test fit these wheels real quick. Hopefully we get them on before the sun goes down. So that way I can like show y'all real quick. One of my sons wanted to uh, come watch me put the spares on. Just told him to be ready. But, um, he's not ready. Yeah! See if that worked. Now I'm saying in Jersey, you just hit him with the yurt, and you know what I'm saying? People know you here. I gave him a little beep beep, little yurt. Now we see, look, see? See, look, he was ready. Look at that, look at that. All you gotta do is hit him with the yurt. Hit him with the yurt and psh, hit. They know where you at. What up? Oh, 
I had to pick up. I had to pick up my son. Don't don't disrespect. Me. Before I stab you in the fucking. Hey 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 hey! It's a triple stack. Relax. Yeah. She's gonna boom 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 boom. The sun's going down pretty quick. Um, we running out of sunlight, and I'm trying to get these wheels on and show you out before the sun goes down. So um. Yeah, I already know. Jack up from the front, jack up from the back, bing, 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 throw them on, that's it, bing, bing, bing. Bop. I completely forgot that I purchased these when I purchased the wheels. <laughs> Just so like, it's it, the nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? The old school feel. Look at what we got. <laughs> got six inch lug nuts. That's gonna look so sick in there. All right, let's uh, let's get these wheels on the car and uh, show y'all what it's looking like. This is it. Everything that I imagined in my head. This is, this is it. This is it. Ah, oh, God. Oh, God. With the lug nuts. With the lug nuts. It. Uh. Honest review of the 15s so far. Um, I can't drive it because I don't have my steering wheel. Um, they fit literally just like my three-piece wheels, just with a fat tire. Um, I'm laid out, I'm laid out. If I can have my height like this all the time, this is money. And this is only like a quarter inch lower, but this, this is money. This is money. I know this is going to be perfect. Um, honestly, this may be my new setup. This was supposed to be a spare setup, but this looks so good. I really may run it as my my my, my full-time sped up. Setup, set, sped up, sped up, sped up, set up, set up, sped up. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Bro, I can't get over this. Honestly, I really can't. So, on that one, we're going to end this because the sun's going down. Sun's going down, and I can't drive it. I can't do nothing. All I can do is look at it, but it does look good. So, we're just gonna end it here, because what else can I do? From right here, it looks nuts. I think this is my favorite angle of the car, with this setup. Just everything, the lug nuts, the fat tires, the big lips, it's just perfect, perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna run this thing into a brick wall. The next one, we're gonna drive the car. Cause I'm a ding dong. A ding dong. Like for Marsh being a ding dong. Comment for his new wheels. Spare setup, subscribe to see what else we're doing. Oh, the parts pile. The parts pile has grown. We got some new springs. The motor mouse, the fuel cell. Manual transmission. We got the headliner back so we can put that back in the car. Motivational speech time. Uh, this isn't actually really a motivational speech, but actually I had this person in my DMs the other day and uh, they were asking me how I kind of balance everything and how I make everything work with, you know, obviously I'm the only one that runs the business, you know, um, the YouTube stuff, I do the recording, I do the editing. Essentially everything you guys see that goes on, that happens, is is done by me. You know, I have Montro as an employee, but I still oversee everything. So um, this motivational speech will kind of be more of like uh, a life lesson. You'll never get adjusted to everything in life. Um, once you get adjusted, life is gonna throw something else at you. And then you're gonna get adjusted and life's gonna throw something else at you. Life's all about adversity and overcoming your obstacles. You have to get out of your head to achieve the things that you wanna achieve in life because if you're stuck here, everything else that's going on around you is all just gonna go into a blur. So be present, be active, um, and just live in the moment. It sounds corny, but literally just live in the moment. You know, even if you get five minutes or if it's an hour, 
Hey, do not take any minute for granted because that can make or break anything. It make or break a big deal. It can make or break something with your family. You never know. So make every second last. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Hey, say bye plane. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.